Hello, everyone. It's Erica here from Me Too Paper Crafts. It's Case the Caddy Night, and I have a fun card. Uh, the stamp set I'm featuring tonight is called Latte Love. It's part of a whole sweet collection of products, fairly new from Stampin' Up. It was released on March the 5th, I believe, and you can only find uh, it products, online. fairly new from Stampin' Up. Sorry, while I turn off my volume on my iPad. So welcome. If this is your first time um, seeing me, please leave a comment. Let me know where you're from. I always like to welcome new viewers. And if you're an old time viewer, then welcome back. So we'll wait just a couple of seconds to see if anybody, I think there's two people watching already. I'm just waiting for comments to come in so I can say hello and see who's watching tonight this is the stamp set it's called latte love and it's all about coffee or it could be hot chocolate and look they give you this decor art this frothing stuff that they do um looks like i'm a spaz when i do this because um when i view this online it's opposite to how I'm sitting. So this is my right hand, but I think you're seeing it as my left hand. And so when I point at things, it's just a little bit awkward. Anyway, that's just the way it is. So the first thing I wanna show you really are the papers. The designer series papers, again, are set up so that you can actually um, cut out several things using the die. So I'm gonna show you everything here. And I'm going to show you also where you will find these products online. So I've got a screen share here. So let me just switch this here. So I'm just logged into uh, my site, um, um, Erica Edney .stampinup.net. So this is where you can find my online store. And you will see this is the uh, one of the products that are in here. And um, let me just see. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't um, shared my screen very often, so I want to see if I can actually go on the website to show you this stuff. Um, yeah, it's not really a live view. So I need to learn more about doing a live view. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. So when you go in um, to the website, you want to click on this little menu item. As I'm talking, it's going to take a couple of seconds for the screen to come up. Here it goes. Okay. And what you're looking for is you're going to come down here to shop products. And you're going to click on shop products and then you're going to go down to what's called online exclusives so online exclusives were introduced last year this allows stampin up to uh, create and develop new products and then release them right away so they're currently releasing i believe two new products every month including two kits every month instead of waiting to release it in a catalog. So as many of you know, we have three catalogs a year. We have an annual catalog. We have a holiday catalog, which includes Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. And then we have a spring catalog that will include Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, and Easter. But in the meantime, in the middle of all of that stuff, Stampin' Up! really wanted to release some brand new, just to brand new products, just to give a refresh to some product offerings. And so you can only find these here in online exclusives. Okay, so these are all the brand new products. So this is a suite I'm talking about tonight. This is called the um, A Little Latte Suite Collection. So it is... In, and, and it's been very popular. You see, you can see right now it's currently unavailable as a suite. So I have to tell you a little something about how this works. To order the suite, that's all the products. That's the stamp set, the dies, the paper, the ribbon, and these embellishments. It's got one order number, 163466. As a suite collection, it's currently unavailable. But if we go back and we say click on 
um, let's click on the paper. No, let's click on where's the stamp set. Hang on, just bear with me. Here's the stamp set and the dies. Okay, you see it's available. So you can order the order all the pieces. So each piece has a separate order number here. So if I go back again and I go to, for example, the ribbon, if I click on that, this has got low inventory, but it's still available. So you should be able to go back and then say you want just the paper, the want to add the paper. Where's the paper? Paper, paper right here so we'll click on that and you see this is available so you can get all the products you can't just can't order them using the one code something must be missing in here and you can't order that thing so the last thing i'm thinking of that is in here that is probably not available right now until we get more in are the little embellishments let me just see where are those little embellishments Maybe on the next page. Let's just see if that's causing a problem. Yes, yeah, see currently unavailable. So when one or two of the items in the whole suite collection aren't available, you can't order the whole collection. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. So I wanted to go back here and show you that. So we don't have a catalog to show you samples but all of the products online have samples, okay? So if you scroll through, there's 13 photos in here. So this is showing the stamp set. Okay, this is showing a sample of a card. Here's another sample of a card. Here's another sample. This is a sample I'm gonna be doing tonight as Case the Caddy, but I'm not really casing a caddy, I'm kind of casing the online store. But it will give you lots of ideas. So if you're thinking, oh, well, without a catalog, how do I know where to start or how do I know what to create? You still have some samples online. OK, so I just wanted to point that out to you. And I want to go back to the one we're going to make tonight because I printed these out. I did some screen grabs and printed them out and the printout, uh, my printer, I don't know if it can print any brighter, but it didn't come out very bright. And so I wanted you to see the colors that we're using tonight. So I've got a Calypso card base, and then this is one of the papers. Okay. Oh, and this is a bit of lemon lolly, which I didn't bring to the table. I'll have to go and grab that. But we're going to make this card tonight, and I'm going to give you some options of with these little beans here. Okay, so that gives you that. So I'm just going to stop sharing here and then go back to my desktop now and we will start hi christine nice of you to join in all right so let's come down from my come a little bit closer here okay let me get rid of my keyboard okay so the papers here are the papers i took out one sheet you get two sheets of each pattern Okay, so you've got these lovely coffee cups and you can just see this gives you the range of colors. We've got lemon lolly, pretty peacock. No, sorry, uh, lemon lolly and this is Lost Lagoon. This is Calypso Coral. So those are the colors. Then we've got uh, early espresso and we've got pecan pie. And on the back of this, we've got a whole bunch of little coffee cups on here. So this makes a good background sheet. And then we've got these splatters. These are a lot of fun. So these are the two uh, brown colors, early espresso and pecan pie. And then you've got this gorgeous striping. One of the cards had this striping on it. Love it. And then you've got, of course, the foam decor on here on a swirly background. And then here's a swirly background. Isn't that fun? And then you've got another swirly background looks like uh, fudge reminds me of fudge and then you've got a whole bunch of coffee beans on this piece this is the calypso floral color and then you've got this piece here which we're using tonight for our card it makes just like a wallpaper i guess and then here's a whole bunch of coffee beans and the thing i want to show you is that there is a two dies that you can actually die cut these little coffee beans or you can stamp them and die cut so you have a choice stamp and die cut or die cut from the paper 
Okay, so there's that. And then this is delectable. Now this other sheet, I completely cut out. I took, I just sat, watched a movie one afternoon and I cut out all of these. Actually they're die cut. I die cut these out. And I also die cut all the edge pieces because these work really nicely on the inside of your card, okay? Or on the edges of your card. You could do like edges all around um, the card and make it really interesting. So I took my time and I, we're not even using these tonight, which is too bad, but anyway. Okay, so those are your papers. Lots of fun. And then the other thing that comes with the set um are these adorable now these are the things that are not available currently uh, but these are some cute little embellishments in three different colors so they've got little swirls on them don't know if the camera will pick that up but they're cute little swirls so you've got kind of a real chocolatey color and a peachy color now these little bits they remind me of chocolates they remind me of little um um truffles so that's kind of fun and then we've got this really cool and we're going to use this tonight so i haven't even used it yet so i should open it up this is a, a, like a burlap or a jute ribbon and um i don't think you can tie a bow with it it looks too stiff for that but it's got these adorable little polka dots on it but i keep saying if you've watched some of my other videos, I keep saying this is going to make fantastic handles on a gift bag. So I will definitely have to do something with that. But we're going to use a little piece tonight. Okay. So those are your pieces. And then, of course, last but not least are the fabulous dies. So here's the stamp set in the dies. So, of course, you have a spoon and you have the outside of this coffee cup. And this actually cuts out the frothy bit. You've got a bit of steam that you can stamp on and you've got this coffee cup so you can cut that out you've got some background pieces you've got some coffee stains or spills or splatters and you've got some coffee beans that you can color or like i said earlier you can die cut them out of the paper you've got some fun greetings this little piece here is the coffee that goes inside this cup and then these will go inside this cup. And then you've got some more coffee stains that you can, you can make your own background paper, which is always tons of fun. Okay, so let's get started. We've got, a, we've got a bit of die cutting to do. All right, so this is the paper. Um, here's my card base. So I cut a four and a quarter by 11 piece of card base. And this is just a four by five and a quarter. I have these already cut up, but this makes the perfect piece, the perfect uh, height that I want to put in the middle of the card. And then I'm going to be putting this on the background. So it's going to show through, but I'm going to trim it down a bit. Now, if I wanted to, I can flip it over and I can cut out some of these beans from here. So I think the first thing I want to do, I'm going to trim two one-inch pieces. On here, and we'll use that as our trim. So here's one and here's one. Okay, so this is going to go on the top and the bottom of this piece here. And then um, I think I want to stamp maybe my coffee bean. But I'll show you the die, or maybe we'll cut them out. The dies um, do, well, you've got uh, two dies for the clusters of beans, so you can cut out more than one at a time. And you just have to figure out where it fits. Okay, I got this to fit earlier. Nope, that's not it. Oh, there we go. I knew it fit somewhere. 
Okay, so there's coffee beans there. So we can cut that out. Okay, now if I look at my sample, my printed sample I have here, I need two clusters of the coffee beans. So let's do another one. There we go. Yep, that's it right there. And so we're going to cut out two of those. And I think we're going to do that. And then we're going to cut. And I've got three little coffee bean guys here. So we can actually cut out some of these coffee beans. This is a little fiddly, I will admit. I'm not quite sure if that fits on there or not. Okay, I personally think that's a bit too fiddly. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know that all these beans are the same. Well, we'll do it and we'll see what we get. So I might need a couple more pieces of my purple tape. I'm running low on purple tape. And let's do another bean. We're going to be using the um, French press tonight. about right and then we'll do one more and then we'll have all of our beans ready have to kind of look where that little dent is i'm curious i don't think all these beans are exactly the same so that a little challenging. Okay, so let's just run this through my 15. Okay, so this is what we get. Let's just see. Oh, they turned out pretty good, I think. There's another cluster. And let's see how this little bean turned out. That's okay. I would not want to die cut a whole sheet of these. I think I will more than likely stamp and color, maybe, or just stamp and not ever die cut. Just create a background wherever they sit in the background, stamp them on there. There you go. Okay. So we can use this piece again for more coffee beans at a later date. All right, so those are our little coffee beans. Now, you want to make sure you put your dies away so you don't lose them. Okay, so we need the, um, the inside of the coffee. Uh, now, I've seen people cut this out of vellum. This is the coffee that's inside the bottom. So you're, we're going to cut this out of a piece of um, early espresso. So I'm going to try and get all my pieces together and then we will um, assemble the card. So 
So let's just see. I know I brought, I brought, this is Smoky Slate, which should work well. This is going to fit on here. Should work well for the bottom. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. And this can be cut out of, um, you could just do it. Um, we're not doing, um, we're doing white on white. So I could cut this from white and then add the brown piece on there. Let's see how that works out. And some people are using um, window sheet, which is another option. Or, you know, clear acetate. And then somebody else was using vellum, which gives it a bit of a frosty look. Trying to find, so we're going to do this. Okay, so let's just put a bit of tape. And I will try to run these through. Excuse me, at the same time. Okay, what else do we need on here? Okay, we have another coffee pot. We've got two coffee pots in this picture. Okay, so we're going to do this one. And this one, I think, again, is in white. And this is more coffee. So let's put this one on here. And then this is more coffee. So we'll put this one on here. Yeah, it's really great if you can die cut everything at once. Okay, and then there's the lid to this, this coffee pot here. We've got a lid, and it looks like they did the lid in, um, it looks like crumb cake. Or I think I'm going to do it out of um, this. Um, this is... Um, Oh my goodness, pecan pie. I love this color. I was really sad when another brown retired, but then they brought this one in. I was happy again. Okay, let me grab more of my tape. And do this one. Okay, so let's see. if I can fit these pieces on my platform all at once. No, I may have to do this. And if I cut this down, put this down, And then just snip this off. Okay, we should be able to cut them all together. All right, so we've got our coffee beans. Okay. This tape is one of the best things I have found. It never rips the paper. You can reuse it over and over and over again. You will know when you have to throw it away because it does get a bit stickier. Um, but I buy it on Amazon and I just love it. 
So here's our coffee in the one machine. Here's our coffee. We're doing a, a double dark roast today. Here's our coffee lid. Oh, look at that. It puts some nice detailing in there. And then here's our bottom. Oh gosh, look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. Now, I think there's a handle as well. Let me just check something here. Now, you can get really funky with these elements here. I mean, your bottom um, and the lid to your coffee machine, they don't have to be these colors. I mean, you could make, you know, like I have red accents in my kitchen, so I could make this red and I could make, um, and you could even cut this a couple of times and then just trim the lid off and make a different color for the lid. And I believe there is a, um, there is a, handle I'm not quite sure how the handle works we'll figure it out look at these adorable little coffee cups too I love those okay so I for lack of another color this would be good in the calypso coral and this lid could have been calypso coral but that lid's for a different machine so let me just grab a bit of calypso color coral just to add some Matrix to the handle. Mm -hmm. well, let's just do the handle. So often when I do Case the Caddy, it's the first time I'm playing with the stamp set. And it's kind of, um, I kind of like the fact that you get to see how I work out everything on the, on the go. I'm building on the fly. Should actually do another fr uh, Friday video and call it On the Fly Friday. That'd be kind of funny. All right, there's our handle. We'll figure out how that works. Okay, so I think I have all of our pieces. So let's start assembling. I'm really excited to see how this how this turns out. Okay. Throw these little scraps here. Oh, and we wanted a couple, uh, one a little coffee cup, I think. We still have more cutting to do. I'm going to do some stamping. I thought I would stamp the coffee cup on um I think I'm going to stamp it in earliest. No, I'm going to do mental black because I'm going to use my blends and color in the cup a little bit. So let's stamp the cup. Oh, I should put this on my. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit. And we're going to stamp this. I'm going to stamp this in. I might pretend this is a cup of, well, no, it's actually a cup of coffee, but it could be hot chocolate too. Actually, now that I think about it, if I'm making cough, pots of coffee, I should really stamp it in early espresso. Okay. 
I'm just going to stamp it right inside the cup. You can stamp it and cut it out. I, I don't know. I don't see the point of that, really. So there's your coffee. And I thought I would... Hi, Elaine. Oh, you're from Utah. How fun is that? Stampin' Up! territory. Welcome. How did you find me? I didn't really say at the beginning, but um, now that you've popped on, I am in, um, I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator in, um, and I live in Victoria, British Columbia. So I'm on the west coast of Canada. Our temperatures are, it was 10 today, 10 degrees Celsius. It's been warming up. It's supposed to get up to, I think, 17 on the weekend. I'm going to get on my brand new bike this weekend. I got my, my husband bought me an e-bike for my birthday in January, and I haven't been out on it yet. I'm really excited about it. I'm not going to color the whole cup. I think this acts more like shading. And let's just pull in the darker color. So I'm just using the artist's lines to show me where the shadows or shading would be. So you could color these cups, you know, any color that you want. There we go. I think that's good enough. Okay, so this is going to get die cut with this cup here. Look how cute this is going to be. Okay, and then we need, um, where's my picture? We need one of these mini cups here. I'm going to do this also in this color now it's cute there's a right and a left cup so that you can have two cups you know facing each other but i only need this one okay oh, oh what the heck because when i turn them over i think they'll be opposite all right let's go give these a cut They're very cute. How cute these are. I don't know if you remember when I was scrolling through the different card samples, there's a card with a whole bunch of these cups in it. It's like they're it's like as if they're on a shelf, an invisible shelf. Look at our cute little coffee cup. Okay, I think we're ready to assemble. All right, so let's put these pieces together. So this is our now. 
you'll have to orient yourself to how this goes on but the carafe does show beneath but we first have to put our coffee on here first so i think the coffee will sit right at the bottom so let me grab my glue This right on here, like so. Then this is going to go on. Now, that doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, you don't want the urn at the bottom because, see, the coffee isn't um, from the left to the right. So I want to put this on here like this. But this should have gone up here like this. I think I've done this wrong now. This is the pour spout, actually. Oh, I can't see the pour spout. Okay, I'm a little confused. Um, we need the pour spout up there. We need this up here. This isn't the greatest picture to work with, and that coffee's way too. Yeah, this is kind of odd looking. Okay, and then how does this handle work? You know, I think this handle is for the other coffee pot. I don't have a clear picture. Okay, so I didn't do this very well. So I might have to redo this, but I won't do it tonight. But I got to figure out how this works. I think this coffee had to come up higher. We won't be able to get it off now. But there's clearly the spout that has to go under the handle. Okay, so this is something for you to just be aware of. Yeah, that coffee's got to come up um you know what i'm just gonna for tonight i think i'm just gonna trim this let's just trim it down just trim it and see if i can get it to work we definitely need the spout to show yeah i think that looks a bit better I'm not sure of the logistics. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm not sure of the logistics. You see, typically in a coffee pot, the coffee goes right across uh, in the bottom. Like this is supposed to be all glass. And you see how it kind of as if it's sitting in the middle. But maybe that's that optical illusion. I'm not sure. So let's just put, I'm going to put a little bit of glue along here. And I'll put a bit of glue on here. A little bit of glue on the feet. Okay. So this is going to go on. Like that. I'm not going to lie, this is a little fiddly. Not perfect the first time. I may have to redo that. This reminds me of a beak on a bird. It kind of looks like a bird with a funny hat on it. Okay, we'll have to play with that, or I might have to look at some other YouTube videos and see how the heck that comes together. Okay, let's try this other coffee coffee pot. So this, yeah, the coffee does not go to the sides of the pot. I'm a little miffed about that. But maybe the coffee pot has thicker glass walls. I don't know. 
What do you guys think? Okay. So the handle. Okay, I'm really miffed because you don't want the handle. Oh, I think it goes like this. Okay, I figured it out now. Okay, I think we're cooking with gas now. Okay, that's going to sit on there like that. Okay, and then we're going to put the lid on. I guess you have to glue, I right, see so you have to glue this. Oh no, it'll go over just over the edge a tiny bit. Okay. Once you get the hang of it, I guess you'll be okay. We'll definitely have to look at some other videos to see how these go together. Okay, Christine, you've got some feedback here. That's the way it is in the picture. I think you're all right. Or maybe a little bit higher up. There might be room at the bottom when I make the picture bigger. Yeah, actually, if there's glass on the sides, there's probably a bit of glass along the bottom of the pot too. Let's see. This picture is terrible. Yeah, I think I this should have come up higher. And this should have come up higher. Yeah, when I do another one, um, I think I'll figure it out better. You're right. There's probably a bit of glass showing at the bottom of the pot. So that should have come up better. I just don't want to hold on to you tonight, but I'll redo the pot. This looks really weird, but that's okay. Um, they look like Halloween caricatures to me. All right, let's try and put this card together now. All right, so I've got this white piece. So as I said, this is four and a quarter by 11. And I'm going to fit this across here. It's just the perfect width, but I'm going to have to trim it. So I'm going to put these. Yeah, so let's trim this down to four and a quarter. Because that's the width. Four and a quarter. Okay. And then I'm going to put this piece behind. Oh, shoot. I didn't make this four and a quarter. I made these too short. Okay, that didn't work. So, yeah, these are all the trials and tribulations when you're crafting, is what happens. Bear with me, I just have to find that piece of paper again. I need another piece. Here we go. So this needs to be four and a quarter inches wide. Okay, so I'm going to cut these. I can easily use on another card. These are not wasted. Let's just cut these two. I'll do these one inch. And one inch. And then I'll cut them both to four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Okay.
So I'm going to put a bit of glue on the back here. And then we're going to put this on here. Same like that. Okay. And we're going to put this one on. Okay, and then this is going to go on the card base. Come see, come sa. I'm just checking my bottom edges here. One side is slightly longer than the other. All right, so that's going to be glued right on top like that. So. We'll put this on here like so. All right, so now we can build our design. Let's just hope the recipient doesn't notice my boo-boos on this card. So we're going to put this coffee pot here. Let's lay everything out first. This coffee pot's going to be kind of in the background. A little more front of the table, I would say. Let's move this up a little bit. They're kind of staggered. Okay, then we're going to have this coffee cup come right in front. This is definitely going to go on dimensional, so let's get that ready. Okay, so this is going to come on the front like this. Then we're going to have one of these adorable little coffee cups. This could also go on dimensional, so I'm just going to get my minis out. And... Put this mini dimensional on there. So this is going to come like this and kind of overlap the bigger cup. It's almost like somebody's having an espresso. Now there's something on here. Now let me think about this. This is too wide. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. This die, I've just figured out what this die is. This die creates the coffee for inside these little cups. I was wondering what that was for. So let's grab a piece of my early espresso. And let's. Wow. I would love to watch the concept artist figure out the design, not just the design, but what is going to cut out, what little, what little die cut do they need? That must be either quite challenging or tons of fun. I was wondering what this die was. I'm glad I figured that out. So we've got these two itty bitty little pieces here. I'm only doing one cup, but I'll keep the other cup for another design. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my tweezers. Now really watch your die cuts because there's definitely a front and a back. Look how cute that is. Okay, that is the most adorable thing ever. Look at that. How cute is that? This good almost as it this uh, uh plaid piece in the background almost as if it's the backsplash to your kitchen or wallpaper in your kitchen you know what i'm going to glue this on my other little coffee cup so i don't lose it i don't want to lose it
Okay. Check that out. Oh, I can't wait to do a whole bunch of those little cups. Aren't they cute? Okay. And then last but not least, we've got some, um, the little coffee beans spread out everywhere. So those I could just glue straight down. Okay, so let's glue this stuff down. And then we've got a greeting to stamp. And I was going to do the greeting in um, very vanilla. And I'm going to die cut that out of these dies here. These are uh, whoops, our um, nested essentials dies. I'm so upset I'm missing a die. I was sitting right here at this desk using it and it has disappeared for months now. I can't find it anywhere. And I've since cleaned and vacuumed and, okay, let's stamp the greeting because I'm not sure how big we need it. Okay, where is the greeting here? And let's stamp this in, um, okay. We're gonna stamp this in pecan pie, I think. And then I'm obviously going to need this die here is wide enough. Okay, so let's stamp this. Okay, and then we're going to cut this out. Uh, You know, it's kind of long, so I'm going to cut it off at the top. Just going to place the die over the edge of the paper up here. Because I don't want it that long. Okay, let's die cut that out. I'm really excited about this card. It was a lot of work. You certainly wouldn't want to do a swap. I suppose once you got your assembly line going, it would be okay. Now this is going to go up here and it's going to have, okay, in the picture, this uh, Calypso Coral piece was a lot wider. So I'm going to just do this and then we're going to put a piece of this ribbon on it we're going to flag the ribbon at the bottom and just put a piece up like that it's just a single piece so let's trim this to make a flag Okay, there's my flag. I'm going to stick this out of the bottom a little bit and a little bit at the top. Okay, and I'm just going to use scotch tape. I always have scotch tape at my desk. It's a craft supply for sure. And I'm just going to cover that. You could use tear and tape as well, but scotch tape is a lot faster in this case, and that's gonna sit up on here, somehow, somewhere like that. Okay, now we've got an issue, I think. We're gonna have an issue. I think we have an issue. Yes, my spacing is not working out. This needed to be a lot smaller. Okay. I have to make some adjustments, ladies. This has got to be a lot shorter. Let's just take this off for a second. And let's just cut this way shorter. Okay.
to cut the top off too. These are all the adjustments that sometimes you just have to go with the flow. That's a little bit better, I think. Yes, that's way better. Okay. All right, so let's glue this on now. I'm not sure I like this white on the white. It doesn't show up very well. What do you guys think? That's why on the sample, I was having a hard time seeing where the glass part went. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Okay. And I might put this on dimensionals. Where are we for time? I'm going to lift it up higher. Okay. I mean, really, nobody's comparing my design to the one in the catalog other than us so when you when i give this to somebody they won't know the difference all right so this is going to go in here like this and i think i'm just going to glue that i want this further down to the front okay this coffee cup I've got to stick some beans in here. There's not much room for beans, I'll tell you something. But we might be able to fit some in here. And I'm just going to overlap the DSP. Uh, spatially, this was very difficult, this card. Um, I found. So let's put a couple of these little lines on here. One thing is sitting kind of behind this little coffee cup. Let's stick this down. Yeah, this is a bit of a challenging card. Put down here like that. We'll put this one on here. Like that. I'll put another couple of coffee beans poking out the back and poking out from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Here. And put the back stir. Right here. Okay, I think that's good. I've got everything on there. You're right, Christine. They will not know. Okay, definitely doesn't reach the sides. Thank you for looking that up. I will try and make another one. And I'm going to try making it out of the vellum too. So there's your card. I mean, I think it looks great. It was a bit of a challenge spacing wise, but I think it's really cool. Really, really cool. I'm going to try it with vellum. I don't know that I like the white. But there you go. I think it turned out okay. And there's no embellishments on there that I can see. There's your coffee. Now, I'm going to add a bit of Wink Stella in here. If I can find it, I have it here today. Okay, I can't find my link of Stella. I had it. Now it's gone. All right, I'll put link of Stella on later. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for having patience watching seeing how i figure that all out but i hope i gave you some little tips and tricks on how the stuff puts together i think we figured out all of the different dyes and where they're supposed to go don't forget you've got this really cute coffee spoon that has a stamp we didn't do much stamping tonight but we put everything together so your choices are you can stamp stuff 
Uh, I mean, you can't stamp the carafes. Those are definitely die cuts, but you've got your copies here to stamp. So have a look online and see some of the other um, examples and uh, see what you can come up with. Let me just get back to me so I can say goodbye. There we go. All right. So have a wonderful weekend. I don't know what plans you've got this weekend, but I am busy um, cleaning out my cra my other craft room to make room for all the other new stuff that I've got. Um, I'm having a big garage sale online through a lady by the name of Carol Parade. So if you're interested in looking at that stuff, the sale I think is going to start uh, at eight or uh, two p.m. in the afternoon. I think on Saturday. You make sure you check your posts. If you're, uh, Christine, you're a team member of mine, I posted something in Gals and I sent a newsletter to my customers to let them know where it was. And there's a link to that Facebook page. All right. Thanks again. And I will see you Monday morning for Mojo Monday. Bye for now, ladies.